Hi, welcome to How to D&D. My name is Fred Wheeler and I have a co-host today. John Shackle. Yay! Okay, so we're going to cover the Monster Menagerie 2 miniature series. As best we can. <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Okay, John, what do we got here? Alright, so we have a knoll. Supporting uh, a morning star. Yeah. Morning thingy, yeah. This is a miniature I do like. Um, I do have a lot of knolls already in my collection, but... Um, if I could pick this up, I would be pretty happy. Well, if it makes you feel better, there is another kind of... There is two knolls in the set. Um, this set also contains a lot of uh, A's and B's of the miniatures, which you will see some of them. What what variations on existing like ones? One, yeah, pretty much one might have a bow, one might have a sword, and, or vice versa. Alright, what else we got? Alright, next up we have a bugbear. Yay, bugbear. That is a really pathetic looking bugbear. Yeah, kind of looks like it's had... It's being crossed with goblins or something. Um, I have to say, I've got much better ones from previous sets. And they're larger, and they're hairier, and they've got better detail. And they're probably, yeah, I'd say they're painted better. Now, at least this bugbear, you know, looks a bit more intimidating. Is that because it's actually wearing something on its head? And yeah. hiding its face? More likely it's got a massive weapon that you need to worry about. What is that? Is this an axe? Yeah. Is it a double axe? I'd say battle axe. Battle axe? I wouldn't say it's a great um, sculpt myself. Alright, next up we have an orc. An orc? Like, I didn't have enough orcs. Seriously? Okay. Yes, it's got a hammer. Not an axe, a hammer. And is that like a spike that it's got on the other side there? Yeah, I'm guessing they like to punch things. It punches it with a spike. Okay. I've seen better um, orcs in previous uh, yeah. Next series. up, slightly more intimidating orc. Probably orc boss or orc captain. Pretty much got a blade instead of a hammer. It's painted slightly different, but overall about the same, I guess. It's got a spike on one side. So, yeah, it's like a duplicate, isn't it, really? A, it's a, a, just a variation on the, the other yep. one. Alright, next up we'll have Bullywog. That is a small Bullywog. Um, it's a baby bog. It is. They haven't produced these for a long time, so I know there'll be a lot of people quite happy to get hold of a Bullywog. The problem is, is it a common or an uncommon? Is it hard to get them? I think the Bullywogs are commons. Um, we do have them out of, out of number, so we're just showing them as, as we have them. That shows us how dedicated we are to this series. Okay. All right. Now you can't have to, you can't have an undead without being in one of the series. You have a ghast. A ghast. Okay. Yes, I'm a ghast. The ghast is here as well. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. A ghast. Uh, it's all right. It's not bad. All right. And the last of the hags, because we've had a green hag, we've had a night hag. This is a sea hag. See, hag, aha. See, hag, this is actually a really shitey sculpt. Mm hmm. Out of all of them, this is definitely pretty bad. Yep. Uh, okay. Maybe uh, it's the seawater. Maybe. Uh, maybe WizKids decided that they needed to downsize the production value. Alright, next up we have Disco Hobgoblin. A, I mean, dis a Disco Hobgoblin? We say that because his armour is a bright bluey colour. You know, definitely can't miss him in a disco. It's got a shield, got a sword, and uh, yes. What is that? That's like metallic blue. Yeah. That's a hobgoblin? That's Seriously? A hobgoblin. Oh yeah. my god. Alright, next up. Sanguine. A what? Uh, fish folk. Fish folk. Yeah. Sanguine. Oh, okay with a trident. It's quite a cool miniature. I kind of like this one. Yeah, this one is actually, because I think this is the first time I've, we've seen one of these. I don't think I have very many in my sets. Um, they, they weren't something that you would commonly come across. So. Alright, next up, you don't want to be facing one of these in the dark. A Grick. A Grick. Um, it's not huge, it's not, a, it's not a particularly large miniature. I think the sculpt's alright. Some of the older um, sculpts weren't very good. Mm. They did put out one not so long ago in one of their previous series, a Grick out. 
and that was actually a pretty good match. Yeah. yeah. I uh, mean, I look at this, I think face hugger. I'm sorry. Yeah. I would say that this is probably not the best grip that I've seen that they've produced. And um, WizKids put out a grip not so long ago. Alright, next up. Standard Goblin! A, Yay. a standard goblin! Oh my gosh! Okay, I suppose you've got to have goblins at some point. Well, it's monster menagerie, so you have to have the, the base demi things. Yeah. I've got so many goblins already. I imagine it'll be helpful for somebody else, but I, I won't be interested in a set that's got a whole lot of goblins. Well, that goblin looks a lot, a lot like the first uh, edition goblin that came out, believe it or not. Alright, uh, Kobold number one. Okay, alright. I so mean, Kobold, yay. Yeah. You don't see an awful lot of kobolds nowadays in sets, so what the heck is it carrying? A little weapony thing. It looks like a makeshift weapon. I think that's a pickaxe, war axe. Is that a war axe? War Sorry, war pick. There we war go. Pick. Right in a, a war pick. Yeah. Okay, alright. And then you have its cousin, kobold number two. This guy's got a helmet of some description. Are these fairly common, these ones? Those ones are common, yeah. I mean, they're kobolds. If you expect a kobold to be rare, I'd be a bit worried. Well, fair enough. That's true. Um, they're all right. I wouldn't. I would say these are reasonable sculpts for a, a kobold. No. All right. Now you have the player characters. I mean, Monster Menagerie has to have player characters, I guess. Well, we Halfling want, Rogue. Well, we want the dungeon master to buy the box sets, and we want the players to buy the box sets. So you got to put some player characters in there, right? Well, I guess so. Yeah. Um, what has she got? She, is that a, like a gem? gem? Yes, well, it's a small gem. Hey, that's a pretty neat looking miniature though. It's very small, but as, yeah. as gnomes go... Believe it or not, I think they skimped on the monsters and did slightly better on the humans, uh, on the uh, PCs. Don't ask me why. The face is actually well painted. And the sculpt is actually really good. Mm. Okay. Well, this is definitely one. I suppose it's not so easy to get, though. Uh, human Monk. Well, I like this miniature. Um, there aren't too many female characters produced by WizKids. And even less monks. That's right. And this one is a female monk. And it's actually a pretty good mould. Um, and it's painted reasonably well, too. Even if, I mean, even if you don't. I mean, some people like orange, some people don't. Mm. Yeah. Next up, Human Cleric. Uh, this looks like the cleric's about to fall over and has just a sword, which... Seems a bit strange. It does make an awful lot of sense, but um, okay. I'm not, I'm not too fast on this particular miniature. I, I, don't, I don't really see too much, too much in it. Uthgard Barbarian. Uthgard Barbarian. It looks a little bit like a, um, a blacksmith who's just decided to go wandering out into the uh, wilderness. Yeah. It doesn't really strike me as a barbarian as such. It actually looks more like um, a blacksmith who's just gone wandering out, grabbed the bow and decided to pick a fight. Well, you can always use him as a blacksmith. I suppose you could, yes. Uh, it's alright. It's kind of an unusual um, mole. I wouldn't have expected that. Mm. I do like that it has a face tattoo, but you have to look really closely for that one. Half-Orc Barbarian. Another female character. Another female character, okay. With a, a hammer. Is it a hammer for for playing... Uh, what's that game when you play? Whack-a-mole. Like? Whack-a-mole. <laughs> yeah, sure. She looks, uh, she looks like she's very tense. And pretty muscly. So, yeah, trouble. Trouble's coming. Alright, next up we have a Drow Elite Warrior holding a tentacle rod. A tentacle rod. That's the sort of thing you really want, a tentacle rod. That's actually quite a cool miniature. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen anything like it before. And I probably won't have one because I'm not going to buy any of this set. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's quite cool. Alright, one of the uh, most favourite ones that I like out of the set. A giant rat! Oh, yes, yes. We've got to spend lots and lots of money buying the set to get lots of these rats. Um, mm. We've been waiting for a giant rat for a long time. Now you've got one. Yay! Yeah. Last and not least of the small ones, 
Blackstone, the mighty wizard! No, it's just a human wizard. Okay. It's alright. It's not it's not a bad miniature. Um the face isn't painted as well as some of the other miniatures I've no, seen. But I mean the, the glow and the staff kind of make up for it, I think. Yeah, I'd say that. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Alright, let's 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 do the invisible because Okay, and we have an invisible and it is a half gold dragon sorcerer. Of course you can't tell what the heck it looks like because it's invisible. Ha ha ha. Um, my view on invisible miniatures is the garbage, but uh, if you like Good that if you're a thing, PC, which that is a PC. It is a PC. Oh, okay, I suppose. Is that a Dragonborn? Uh, yeah, you could use that as a Dragonborn. It says half, half dragon. Half, half dragon. Mm. A half dragon. That's one of the things I don't really have enough of, and that's the, the Dragonborn miniature. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people looking for that, and they can't, can't get them. Alright, so that's it for the uh, small ones. Alright, now we go on to the uh, bigger models of the set, and I do mean slightly bigger, I'm afraid. We have first off a Hippogriff. Now, Hippogriff's not so hard, and well, not so hard to get. I think I've seen another one and another set that they produced not so long ago. But this is probably better than that. Yeah. I can't remember exactly what it looked like, but I think this I particular... Think the last Hippogriff we saw was a lot bigger than that. Yeah. But I think the, um, the, the mould itself, the sculpt is actually probably better. Yes? No? Well, I'd say they're, they're, they're getting better from the original sets, yes. Okay. Next up we have a warg! Got to have lots of wargs. Um, that I actually like. Yeah, I do actually. I have used that miniature in one of Fred's games. And it looks good. Um... Are they hard to get though? That's the question because you need a couple of them. Yeah. Unfortunately, we haven't looked to see what the rares are and what the uh, what the rares aren't. So that that's how much we love this set. <coughs> okay, move on. Oh yay! Stuck up angel, plenty of angel. I mean, this is the second set to have an angel in it. Um, I still think the other set's angel looks a little better. Are they that's getting smaller? Is it my imagination? Yes. This. this this box set does seem to be smaller than the other boxes. Uh, this this actually almost feels like it's only just made it into the large realm from the medium size realm. Oh yeah. Um, the sculpt is all right. Uh, I wouldn't say it's special. All right. Now next up, something that players hate to love: a black pudding. You can't have your meat without any pudding. No. <laughs> okay. uh, There's not a lot of detail you can see in it. It's really, really hard to see on the camera. Um, I have to say, if you have a gelatinous cube from one of the other sets, open it up, look in the inside, it is exactly the same mould. Yeah. I am sorry. Yeah, I, I think that's probably... And you could probably just use that as your black pudding, and oh, it yeah. just be clear. And you know they can use their imagination. Well, that it's good example. Black. If you turn it around the other way, Fred. Yes, okay, I will do so. You can fit in player characters. Jeez, I think that you is might. the only good thing about it. Is it literally the same mold? Then? It is literally the same mold. Did you check? Yes, I did check. Oh my God! They actually did exactly the same mold, and they just coloured it differently. Yep. You, you scum, whiz kids, you scum, you, you teeny. Yes, there is some minute changes, but I looked at that and yeah. All right. All right. The one thing that they said that this set will have that they don't have in any other sets: golems. First up, stone golem. That's a golem. That's a golem. It's very small. Yeah, this one does not want its precious. Uh huh. Mm hmm. The sculpt is all right. I don't think there's something anything terribly special. I haven't seen stone golems in the past. Have never been that great anyway. A lot of the sculpts have been pretty boring. Mm. Um, but a lot bigger though. Yeah. The sculpt is alright, and just the size. I just don't get it. Next up, clay golem. A clay golem. I used a clay golem not so long ago. Um, clay golem is pretty hard to get. I think most of them that I've had in the past are really, really old. Uh, and they're better than this. So if you're... That are not so easy to get though. The, the golems tend to be around the mid range. The mid range? 
from what I can remember. Yeah, and you're getting maybe one in a box if you do find yep. it. All right, next up you have the crusty golem, iron golem. I'm sorry, I originally thought that this golem, uh, this golem looked cool, but then starting to look at it, it looks like it's a half-assed painted job. I know it's supposed to look rusted and all that, but it just does not look right. Uh, I've got quite a few of these. Um, I've got a huge size um, iron golem. I've got a, a large size golem. I think you've seen them before. Yes. What, how does that compare to this? Because well, it, this one looks like it's been through a car wash. Literally, it's been oxidised. It's it looks like it, they didn't really figure out what they was doing. The last iron golem I saw looked like full plate metal. Looked shiny. This one looks like it's you know aged badly. Hmm. Um, scale size i yeah i'm not too impressed by the scale of size yet again yeah all right this set also has dragons and this is where it disappointed me the most this is probably one of the bigger dragons in the set the seriously set. we're back to doing dragons again yes didn't we do enough dragons oh uh, trust me um there is one miniature which i can't show you and it is a baby dragon and it is literally almost the size of the giant rat miniature it is tiny okay well that's really impressive, I have to say. Uh, yes, this is definitely a set that excites me. Not. I'm seconding that one, Fred. Okay, well, look, we're going to have a quick discussion about this, but I'm going to stick the... See, what are people are looking for with this Monster Menagerie 2? As not these miniatures, they would probably be looking for the golems. They'll be after the golems. They'll um, be looking after stuff that wasn't in the first couple of sets. Yeah, and... They'll be going after the Beholder. Yes. There is a few things that we have and haven't mentioned. There is, um, from what I remember, a Illidan, Illithan, and a Beholder. And they are super rare to get, supposedly. We will go into that whole rare thing at a later date. Uh, they're hard to get. This, th What we've shown you is pro probably just from a couple of boxes. Um, that's pretty much it for me. I mean, yes, the Beholder does look good. Um, we can sh quickly show you picture-wise. You'd have to put it right in front, yeah. The Beholder there. Yeah. That's probably what everyone will want. Uh, that's what I was talking about, the uh, the dragon. It's a wormling, yay. But seriously, this set actually disappoints me. I actually have a whole bunch of Beholders already, so somebody who's trying to get a Beholder out of this pack, it's probably not going to happen. Mm. Um, and you're going to wind up with some golems, and that's probably about the best you're going to get out of the set. Because uh, you're, you're not, I mean, the warg is actually a pretty good miniature, yep. but that's not what people are going to be after. They're going to be after the, the big hitters. Yeah. And uh, that black pudding really disappoints me. Um, now I know I've got three or four black puddings, since I have three or four gelatinous cubes from the previous sets. So, yes, I don't like this set. I will probably not buy a single one. I know the shopkeepers were trying to convince me to buy some, and I didn't, and I, I, I'm probably going to hold to that. Um, I would buy other sets, but I wouldn't buy this particular set yeah. at all. And I only bought it because it's a new set, but I'm not going hard out like I have uh, with the previous sets. I'm just disappointed in this one. Um, I really am. It's, yes, it's got some nice new things, but it just feels like it's a rehash of older sets and they've just mashed it together. Mm. And yet again, same with the Monster Menagerie, the first one, uh, where we were expecting to get monsters and we actually we didn't get that many monsters. And this is Monster Menagerie 2 and there's actually not that many monsters. I would say there'd be more monsters in this set than there was in the previous Monster Menagerie. Uh, yeah, but I'm, I'm, when I say monsters, I don't mean like goblins and orcs, because they're, they're like humanoids. You, you're talking about the big, you know, I'm, the I'm nasty talking, things. I'm talking about monsters. I mean, there are so many things in the Monster Manual that we still haven't got a miniature for. Or well, maybe it might come out in the next set or sets. Monster Menagerie 5. Uh. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm not going to buy this set. I'm not impressed. John's... Bought a couple, and that's probably about it for him. Yeah. Yeah. So, yet again, we do apologise for the uh, lack of consistency with these miniatures, but both of us are pretty disappointed in this set. Yeah. And I, I definitely won't do another review of this particular miniature set. It just will not happen. Um, if you found this video helpful or informative, please share, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. 
Look, make a comment below if you have any questions on the Monster Menagerie set, and I probably won't be able to answer a single question because I have so little invested in it. Um, but if I can answer some of the questions, I'll go and ask somebody else, and then I can pass that information to you. Until next time, keep rolling those twenty. Sneak attack! Oh no! Okay, that's done. <laughs>